Uh, we would now like to uh, move on to the explanation regarding uh, the infrastructure system business strategy. Uh, the presentation will be made by uh, Mr. Sasaki. Uh, my name is uh, Sakai of uh, the infrasystem uh, business. I would like to talk about the infrasystem as well as uh, the Hitachi Industrial uh, Equipment Systems uh, Company Limited. Two co uh, businesses will be covered. Uh, let me uh, first of all start off with the business overview. Now, uh, uh, out of uh, the industrial segment, uh, it uh, will include the urban as well as uh, um, a train business as well. But I'd like to focus on the infrasystem business. Uh, in terms of uh, revenue, it, uh, it was 641.6 billion. And uh, the uh, subsystem, as well as the uh, components uh, for information, power, and transportation fields, was 178.1 billion yen. Now, let me talk about uh, uh, the business activities and the portfolio uh, to uh, deal, provide uh, the best solutions partner, to be a best solutions partner by providing answers to business uh, challenges faced by global customers. We have realigned ourselves uh, into urban and energy solutions, water environment solutions, industrial plant uh, solutions, and uh, also the components uh, that uh, will support uh, all these uh, three um, areas. So these are the four domains. And uh, we will also uh, accelerate uh, the global deployment uh, of uh, these businesses. Uh, next, I'd like to move on to talk about the market environment. Now, uh, this is uh, looking at uh, the market structure. Uh, looking at the infrastructure, uh, market overseas, uh, uh, there's mainly in emerging uh, markets. Uh, you can see that uh, uh, it is growing in emerging markets. And especially the uh, resource-rich uh, uh, countries, uh, as well as uh, in Asia, as well as China, are showing growth. Uh, in Japan, uh, there is uh, the electricity uh, regulatory reform, as well as national resilience plan, uh, are driving uh, uh, demand here in Japan as well. This is the competitive environment. Uh, the uh, vertical axis uh, is uh, the uh, sales growth uh, average, and uh, operating income uh, ratio is shown on the, on the horizontal axis. Uh, these are the two uh, KPIs that uh, we are focused on. Uh, a, B, C uh, companies uh, are listed here. And uh, compared to representative uh, companies, uh, uh, please uh, note uh, Hitachi's uh, positioning. Uh, in terms of our strength, uh, uh, we can include uh, a component uh, system as well as EPC and so, uh, service. Uh, we can provide the uh, total solutions. And uh, we can bring to bear uh, the resources of the Hitachi Group overall. And one stop uh, solution can be provided. This is the advantage uh, of our Hitachi. So how can we utilize uh, the strength? Uh, it will be the question. We would like to expand the service business as well as uh, strengthen the global supply chain. Uh, those will be the major initiatives that uh, we will be implementing. Uh, next, a uh, business strategy. Uh, now, uh, let's uh, compare uh, against the previous uh, forecast. For 2013, uh, there was a decline in terms of uh, project uh, profitability, and therefore in terms of revenue as well as uh, operating income uh, ratio, uh, we underperformed uh, the target. Uh, now, taking lessons from this, uh, for 2014 and 2015, uh, we have uh, set out uh, with these numbers. Uh, we are determined to achieve these numbers in terms of operations, especially for 2015. Uh, we would like to uh, enjoy the fruits of uh, the structural reform and uh, uh, focus on uh, global deployment as well as the service uh, uh, business uh, 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 expansion and achieve sales of one trillion as well as uh, operating income ratio of above seven percent. Uh, next, I would like to talk about the strategies for achieving 2015 uh, plan. Uh, there are three points uh, uh, that uh, are mentioned here. Uh, first, uh, in terms of project management, uh, we will strengthen uh, this business uh, so that uh, we can reduce the risk of uh, cost overruns. And second uh, is the most important area, uh, which is to expand the business. Uh, in particular, uh, increase uh, the accelerated business expansion, uh, global expansion, as well as uh, strengthen uh, components and service. And uh, the third point uh, is uh, um, a smart transformation. Uh, now, uh, please uh, look at the service business uh, revenue ratio and overseas revenue ratio. We'd like to grow uh, these ratios uh, in this way. And uh, uh, smart uh, transformation, uh, we are uh, contemplating 42 billion to be achieved. Now, 
For these uh, strategies, uh, I would like to give you further uh, detailed explanations. Uh, first of all, uh, regarding the strengthening of uh, project management uh, and uh, uh, reducing the risk of declining profitability. Uh, now, uh, with uh, partnering, uh, we would like to cover this area and uh, risk uh, will be eliminated. Uh, there are two points uh, to be mentioned here. Uh, project management uh, uh, organization ability will be strengthened. Uh, last year, in August, uh, we have uh, set up a new uh, organization called the PMO for this purpose. Uh, this, uh, it uh, will report uh, to the uh, president of infrastructure uh, system company. At the time of uh, uh, contract, uh, the details uh, will be scrutinized. Uh, and uh, after the um, order is received, uh, uh, each of the phases uh, will be managed uh, by this new organization. Uh, furthermore, for EPC overseas, engineering uh, will be strengthened. Last year, in October, a CNA organization was uh, set up, uh, construction and uh, architecture. Uh, Organization has been established uh, for architecture and uh, uh, civil works. Uh, uh, Know-how uh, will be strengthened uh, so that uh, risk as well as cultural factors can be taken into consideration in terms of uh, hedging risk by this organization. Uh, now, it's not just limited to this checking organization, but uh, uh, for each of the regions, uh, we have to make sure that the technology is accumulated. Uh, that is the reason why we are partnering uh, with uh, other companies. Uh, we have uh, distributed to you the partnership uh, uh, announcement uh, with uh, Veolia Water uh, Technologies. This is a good case in point. And furthermore, there are other examples of partnering, uh, such as uh, acquisition of an Italian company. Uh, going forward, uh, we will continue these activities and strengthen these activities going forward. Uh, next page is uh, the second uh, strategy uh, of the business expansion measures for uh, urban energy solutions, water and environment solutions, industrial plant uh, solutions. Uh, in these areas, uh, we will add value and accelerate the, the global expansion of these uh, solutions. Uh, in order to support uh, this global expansion, uh, we will uh, expand uh, highly profitable businesses around strong uh, components uh, and uh, services. For these five points, a detailed explanation will follow. Uh, first of all, uh, regarding the urban energy solutions business. Now, uh, in addition to the, uh, the, the, the technologies uh, that we have accumulated in terms of power system as well as transportation uh, will be utilized uh, in new market uh, deployment. Uh, for the power, power uh, market uh, is uh, being reformed. We would like to expand our business in this area. And uh, for the urban solution area, uh, we would like to increase uh, our share. Uh, in terms of uh, the uh, power system reform market, uh, we will be focused on the core system, uh, especially uh, the control and uh, uh, the information uh, combining together uh, is an area we have uh, knowledge which we would like to bring to bear uh, domestically as well as in North America, as well as in other countries. A service uh, will be deployed uh, in these uh, areas. Now, uh, on the demand side of energy, uh, the urban solutions uh, uh, is an area we would like to increase share. Uh, last month, uh, we have uh, started the operation of the Kashinoha Smart City Project. Uh, this explanation is given on this page. Uh, in this area, uh, we are working with Mitsui Fudosan and uh, other partners. Uh, to uh, implement energy management, uh, in particular on the part of uh, Hitachi, uh, for the first time in Japan, uh, the, um, the distributed uh, uh, regional uh, electric power interchange uh, had been realized based on our technology. Smart uh, cities, uh, basic technologies uh, will be pursued. Uh, we would like to also uh, promote this in other areas as well. Uh, in this regard, uh, uh, Emilia, has been announced. Uh, this is a packaged uh, solution which will be provided to the market. Uh, by the same token, in other countries, uh, energy management uh, will be an important focus for us uh, as well. Uh, next, I'd like to talk about the water and environment uh, solutions business. Uh, the revenue in this area 
for 2015, uh, we will aim for 140 billion yen uh, and uh, operating uh, income uh, ratio of 6% uh, 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 will be pursued. Uh, the domestic market is likely to be flat. Therefore, on our part uh, in the water solutions area, uh, we will be utilizing the strength uh, of uh, uh, electrical facility and machinery. Uh, so a turnkey proposal can be made. Uh, we would like to bring to bear our strength uh, in this area. For the overseas business expansion, on the other hand, uh, in Iraq, uh, Basra project uh, uh, is uh, uh, ongoing. Uh, we are working uh, with uh, companies such as OTV, uh, Veoria Water, uh, Susiri uh, is uh, the company OTV, uh, and uh, also working with the Arab contractors. So it's a three-party uh, partnership. In this way, uh, in Dahij of uh, India, a uh, large-scale uh, system uh, will be introduced. Uh, in the water solution area, uh, in the oil and gas area, there is another initiative that uh, we are pursuing. Uh, there is uh, the need uh, to rapidly bring uh, differentiate uh, uh, to treat uh, the um, oil field uh, produced water as well as uh, our equipment and injection pumps. So uh, we would like to uh, promote uh, such projects uh, uh, widely. Next industrial plan to solution business in 2015. Uh, the target is 290 billion, and uh, operating income uh, margin of uh, six percent uh, uh, will be our target in the Asian market. The uh, EPC business is to be expanded, and the foundation uh, will be established firmly. In April, uh, Hitachi Infrastructure Asia company has been established for this purpose. It's called HIA. From this company uh, to Vietnam, and Thailand, Indonesia, and to the Philippines, as well as Malaysia, uh, subsidiaries uh, will be controlled um, firmly. Uh, that is what uh, we are uh, pursuing. We would also like to uh, promote this widely in other regions of the world as well. Uh, in terms of the industrial plant, you may think that it is uh, uh, basically construction, but uh, within us, we have uh, abilities such as uh, chemical as well as uh, pharmaceutical, as well as uh, uh, air conditioning and uh, food technologies as well. So uh, we would like to focus in these uh, vertical areas as well uh, to provide a, a total solution for our customers. Moving on to the components business. Uh, in 2015, uh, we will aim for revenue of 350 billion and uh, operating uh, income, a margin of 8% and above. Uh, in particular, uh, please refer to uh, this uh, uh, slide, uh, which is showing uh, the expansion uh, into markets for large uh, components. Uh, we will deal with them in terms of big accounts. Uh, Saudi Aramco uh, is a good uh, uh, case in point. And another example is uh, Petrobras of uh, Brazil. Uh, in particular, uh, for Saudi Aramco, uh, we are not just uh, uh, delivering products, uh, but uh, uh, we are also uh, managing the services as well. And uh, we have established a company for this purpose and uh, we will continue to grow this business uh, in a significant manner. Uh, on the other hand, for Brazil with Petrobras, uh, the uh, offshore system uh, is very important. SPSO uh, has uh, been delivered in March. Uh, inclusive of the FPSO, uh, the service uh, will also be provided uh, uh, without fail. The second area of components uh, is the small and medium-sized products. Uh, these are products that are closer to the users, uh, very important uh, for the low carbon society as well as uh, energy saving uh, initiatives. Uh, compressors and uh, transformers, inkjet printers uh, are the main products. Uh, they are top products uh, in the domestic market. Uh, uh, going forward, I would like to uh, promote this globally. And therefore, in, we must uh, expand the uh, sales channel. Uh, investments are underway to realize this objective. 
Now, this is not just uh, uh, providing single products, but uh, as shown below, uh, package uh, uh, products uh, will be uh, introduced as well. Now, uh, in terms of PCS, uh, as well as uh, um, uh, transformers, uh, will be combined together. And uh, it uh, will be combined uh, with the wind power generation system of uh, Hibachi. By so doing, uh, we would like to improve uh, the logistics volume. Next topic is uh, uh, international uh, business. Uh, uh, example here is the international business expansion of uh, power electronic products from overseas locations. In China, uh, the small and medium-sized inverters, as well as uh, India's uh, large inverters, as well as uh, UPS uh, um, example are shown here. It is not to bring into Japan, uh, but uh, from China will export uh, uh, globally. And from India, export uh, is uh, conducted globally. In terms of the sales channel, expansion uh, has been a very important focus for us. And therefore, for these components, uh, the sales route per se uh, will be dealt with by the infrastructure system business route uh, to achieve this objective. The next, service business. Uh, this is uh, uh, str to strengthen uh, the partnership with the customers uh, as well as uh, to enhance the profitability. Uh, this is a very important uh, measure to enhance uh, the transactions. Uh, Dr. Cloud example is shown here. In 2011, we started the system and already uh, we have uh, 100 users from big data. It's not just monitoring uh, the equipment, uh, but uh, uh, predictive uh, monitoring uh, can be conducted and uh, uh, value-added services uh, can be uh, provided for Dr. Cloud for this product. It is not just limited to Hitachi products, uh, but uh, uh, for the equipment the set of manufacturers, uh, we can uh, provide this system. Uh, this is what we'd like to promote. Below uh, is the services for solving customer issues. Uh, life cycle cost uh, uh, improvement uh, is very important. And the other focus uh, is uh, to uh, resolve uh, the uh, management issues besetting customers. Uh, we believe these are two important areas for the latter. For example, uh, in Maldives, uh, water system uh, can be raised as an example. In terms of uh, O&M, uh, we are participating and uh, operating expenditure can be reduced uh, for that profit uh, uh, gain, the, uh, the amount can be shared by the partners. So we would like to uh, increase such services uh, to be provided. Uh, the next uh, strategy is uh, the uh, smart transformation, SDP. Uh, first uh, is uh, to continue to uh, reduce cost, 1.8% uh, 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 for SGA and 1.7% uh, in terms of gross margin are the improvement points uh, that we have identified. Uh, in terms of the, the business structure reform, uh, we have uh, four uh, domain areas now. And uh, in the for October, Hitachi uh, plant construction, and in April, Hitachi plant service, uh, Hitachi uh, industry information solution, uh, the new organization set up. Now, uh, in this uh, organization uh, structure, uh, we would like to uh, capitalize uh, on synergies as much as possible. And next is the uh, cash flow management, especially from uh, quotation to service uh, in the whole uh, total value chain uh, operation must be improved. Now, uh, in terms of uh, conditions as well as acceptance, uh, conditions must be understood fully and uh, in terms of uh, the actual payment, uh, the everyone should be uh, aware of the importance of payment as well. So on a microscopic way, uh, we are providing uh, uh, visibility. So this can be utilized uh, to uh, improve uh, the uh, cash flow structure. Strategic investments for growth. 
Um, the, uh, this is capital expenditure and other investments uh, uh, to the tune of 80 billion uh, has been uh, earmarked uh, for the years uh, leading up to 2015. Uh, now, this is not just uh, investment and loans, but uh, we have Omika uh, Works and Tachura uh, Works. Uh, they are major uh, factories. Uh, we will uh, implement the production reform so that a better operation can be pursued uh, in these plants. <laughs> Lastly, business performance. For fiscal year 2014, uh, we have strengthened project management uh, and uh, improved uh, profitability. Uh, that is what we'd like to achieve. Uh, for 2015, uh, expand uh, overseas business uh, and uh, enhance uh, the service ratio by so doing uh, 1 trillion or over 7% uh, uh, numbers uh, will be achieved. That will be our target. Uh, at the risk of repeating myself, I'd like to emphasize uh, that uh, we are aspiring to become the best solutions partner by providing answers to business challenges faced by uh, global customers. For, and uh, in order to uh, uh, achieve our objectives, 2014 is going to be very important. 2013, uh, there are some lessons learned. And uh, we will bring to bear uh, these uh, lessons uh, to implement uh, the strategy for 2014. For 2015, uh, we'd like to expand business, improve profitability. Uh, we will continue on this course. Thank you very much for your kind attention. Let us move on to the questions and answers. On top of uh, Sakai, uh, Maruta Hiroshi, Hiroshi Maruta, CFO of uh, Infrastructure Systems Group, and uh, Masaka Zaoki, President and Director of Hitachi Industrial Equipment and Systems Company. They will also answer your questions. I see a hand in the left. Question. I have uh, two questions I would like to ask. Page six, looking at the slide on page six, the market uh, itself is going to grow. Uh, that is the forecast. Based on that, page uh, seven, uh, there is a competitive analysis that's shown on this uh, page. Uh, looking at this chart, your company's uh, uh, revenue will continue to grow and uh, margin as well. A company A and company D, uh, where would the, they be positioned in 2015? I'm sure you've done that analysis. So uh, where are the competitors going in the next uh, few years? Uh, it's a growing market. And if your competitors' uh, growth rate is higher uh, than that of uh, Hitachi, then uh, it's a different story. So. What's going to be Hitachi's position within the competitive environment? Uh, so that's my first question. And uh, another question is as follows. Your uh, performance uh, uh, plan, I was looking at pages 9 and 10 together. And uh, if we uh, split between domestic and overseas sales, in the domestic market, uh, revenue or sales are to grow uh, around 30 billion or so. Uh, in the information systems, uh, uh, the presentation was that uh, domestic market is uh, not going to grow very much. So why such a difference, I would like to ask. Considering the domestic uh, market environment here in Japan, in terms of information systems, I thought that investment uh, would be greater there than here, but they're saying that they're not going to grow very much. And uh, your business is collaborating with information and telecom systems, and why are you growing faster than them? And more specifically, which uh, areas are going to grow? Answer, your first point. So slide 2-2. Competitive environment, companies A and D, how are they going to grow? What will be their positions in the future? And uh, as opposed to them, what would be Hitachi's position? Uh, we have done a rough analysis, but of course we cannot share the results of our own analysis uh, uh, with uh, you. Uh, that would be a problem. So uh, we did not show about other companies. Well, Hitachi is going to grow, as shown in the diagram. Uh, we've accumulated data, and uh, we have forecasted, based on such uh, data, another perspective is 
uh, Hitachi after undergoing a V-shaped uh, recovery. In terms of the infrastructure business, what position is demanded of uh, Hitachi? I think uh, there's that perspective as well. So there are two perspectives uh, from which you can see this. Uh, revenue is going to grow slightly and profitability is going to grow more. That is what this uh, diagram shows. But in principle, basically, I'm not all that satisfied uh, with uh, this uh, growth uh, trajectory. Uh, but then uh, we need to envision our future position and uh, we need to work toward that position that we envision. That's what we're focused upon. Rather than worrying about other competitors' uh, future positions, what position uh, do we want to occupy to satisfy our stakeholders? And uh, the reflection of that is in this diagram. I hope you'll understand that. So vis-a-vis -vis that position, in the future, uh, we have uh, formulated our strategy to allow us to achieve that position. And domestic uh, versus overseas. Pages 9 and 10 you mentioned. Domestically, how are we looking at our own growth? Up until now, uh, the infrastructure systems uh, uh, company had both uh, mechanical and electric uh, systems. There was a clear separation between the two businesses within the company. Last year, in, information versus uh, plant-related business. Uh, uh, that was the separation. When we look at the domestic uh, market, uh, this is an important point uh, with respect to the water business. Mechanical and electrical uh, need to uh, be combined uh, with each other as a system. That is what is demanded. So that's the new kind of uh, domain we're looking at. And uh, actually, that is uh, included in the domestic business. We're uh, only two months into fiscal year 2014, and uh, we are seeing more and more of this uh, tendency. It's not just uh, for the water business alone. The same with uh, industrial systems, uh, heat firms, for example. We have information package that we supply to the pharmaceutical industry. On the other hand, on the plant side, uh, biotechnology-related uh, uh, plant uh, construction, that's our forte. So by combining these, uh, uh, we would like to respond to client uh, uh, requirement. Uh, here in Japan. So uh, that is the principle or the idea uh, behind uh, our plan. If you could please supplement. Basically, compared to your competitors, well, related to the first point, a competitor's revenue growth rate is uh, going to be higher than Hitachi's. Uh, that situation will continue, uh, but you will try to grow your share. Is that right? Well, yes, correct. And uh, another supplementary or follow-up question in terms of domestic versus overseas. In Japan, growth is expected in uh, areas uh, not necessarily uh, where there is collaboration between electrical and uh, mechanical, but uh, you have uh, infrastructure projects in water and other industries, and uh, they will translate into revenue in the next few years, and that is why you are expecting growth uh, here in the Japanese market as well. Uh, power and uh, information systems related uh, business, so we've already started uh, preparation uh, from fiscal year 2013. It's already factored in. and. Uh, uh, they are uh, synergies uh, uh, to be reaped uh, uh, within the infrastructure systems uh, business, and that is already factored in. Thank you. A question. Uh, thank you very much uh, for the detailed explanation. I have four questions. Uh, first question uh, is uh, uh, overlapping with the previous question, uh, the, your view of the market. 
according to the market forecast, uh, we can set that aside for the time being. Uh, but uh, in terms of, perhaps it's not included in the midterm uh, plan range, but uh, for China, 3.7 uh, uh, for uh, going to 8.2 percent, uh, uh, two times. Uh, I don't know if that is appropriate, uh, taking into consideration the GDP growth. But in terms of market, uh, uh, resource-rich uh, countries are not doing well. Uh, Thailand, uh, subject to uh, con confusion. And uh, uh, the developing nations uh, are in the mid-income trap as well. So in terms of uh, overall growth, the potential is seems to be declining as a market. Uh, what is your perspective? Uh, what is your view on the market? Do you think that uh, the most uh, growth uh, is already behind us? Uh, apart from the numbers, uh, on your in your perspective, uh, how do you view the market? Is it going to become more uh, difficult uh, or is it uh, continuing to be strong? Answer. Now, in terms of uh, the overseas market, uh, we have been bullish. Uh, that is a uh, fact. Uh, for example, for China, as you have mentioned, uh, we are going to increase significantly. We remain intact uh, in terms of this direction. On my part, uh, this week, on Sunday and Monday, uh, in Beijing, I have participated in the meeting there, and uh, the, uh, uh, there was a presentation by the government officials, and taking that into consideration, I believe that uh, our strategy is on course, uh, because uh, uh, in terms of uh, China, as well as for um, emerging nations, uh, the market uh, growth cannot be uh, decided uh, based on GDP numbers. But uh, in the background, uh, there is uh, also technological uh, deployment to be considered as well. Because uh, our major market is Japan, and uh, the technologies prevailing in Japan, whether it can be utilized uh, in emerging nations is not necessarily the point. There's going to be a lagged uh, deployment. Uh, therefore, for smart city uh, concept is a good case in point to uh, other energy saving system. Uh, is another opportunity. Environmental issues is another issue. Currently, internally, uh, these uh, will come to fruition uh, later than uh, uh, later down the road, uh, and uh, that is reflected in our forecast. I hope that will suffice. Question: uh, In terms of uh, power systems, power. Uh, how are you segmenting uh, the business with the power systems? In your case, in the company, in your company, for smart meters, for Toshiba, um, they're using Toko and uh, uh, Mitsubishi and uh, Fuji have their own as well. But uh, you are also uh, providing indirect support to Osaki. So are you not going to do uh, meters going forward? Uh, the um, visualization system, is that uh, going to be your focus? Uh, uh, how are you going to segment your business uh, with the past systems uh, in terms of uh, business unit? Uh, please uh, elaborate. Answer. Uh, let me um, answer to the second part. Um, the uh, power system and infra system uh, in terms of uh, the power business uh, is uh, that uh, for power generation, uh, that's power system. And uh, in terms of uh, transmission as well as distribution uh, is uh, the gray area, the boundary area, and the customer service area, a smart meter, inclusive, as well as other uh, systems are being developed. Uh, for this area uh, is the uh, domain of the infrastructure uh, systems company. Uh, in terms of uh, power, uh, in terms of uh, uh, transmission distribution is a gray zone for us. Uh, and. Uh, the power system and the infrastructure systems companies, uh, uh, people who are in charge of the grid, uh, are working together uh, in pursuing this business. So there is collaboration for the grid area. Furthermore, question. Uh, in terms of uh, regulatory reform in electricity, uh, what is the business opportunity for you? Answer, uh, there is wide area control. Uh, wide area distributed uh, is a very important uh, opportunity. There's also liberalization. Uh, uh, in terms of uh, customer management system, we have to deal with the liberalization of the electricity market. 
And I don't know if this is directly related to infrastructure system, uh, but uh, there is going to be um, interchange um, between the east and west. That is also an opportunity for us. Question, uh, the core system, uh, control, and smart is what you are going to be focused on, and uh, also it will be used uh, for the smart meter? Yes, uh, that will be done in collaboration. A third question, uh, in terms of water solutions, water treatment, uh, if we divide into uh, the, um, the water supply and sewage, uh, what is the breakdown? Uh, what is the outsourcing uh, involved here uh, in the near term, as well as uh, the vision going forward? Please elaborate. Now, in terms of uh, the water supply and sewage, uh, we don't have that uh, demarcation, so uh, I cannot uh, respond to that uh, question. In terms of the services, it's about 10%. In the case of uh, water solutions in Japan, uh, in terms of operation per se, uh, is uh, conducted by the municipal government's uh, uh, water department uh, is in charge of this. And therefore, the service area uh, is small. But uh, for overseas, uh, we want to strengthen and expand that area. Now, which is the, your strength, the sewage or the water supply? We're str strong both. Last question. For components, uh, power electronics. For other companies, inverters, for inverters, SIC is being used. Especially Mitsubishi and Fuji, they have their own power electronics, power uh, semiconductors, they introduce that to their own products. Um, barrier diode uh, has been introduced by Mitsubishi. So, SIC, inclusive of SIC, how are you going to uh, utilize your strength? Although you don't have this, uh, you don't have your own device, but uh, how are you going to deal with this area? In China, uh, low capacity products are going to be provided, uh, but looking at uh, uh, Yaskawa, uh, they've been copied uh, and struggling. So low-priced uh, inverters, uh, in terms of business deployment, uh, do you think it is uh, um, favorable? Please clarify. Answer, regarding SIC, uh, in terms of uh, the element, as we mentioned, device. In the Hitachi group, uh, it is as if we don't have a device business within the group. Uh, this uh, company uh, is included in the infrastructure system company. However, going forward, in terms of development, uh, we need to make further efforts because we are lagging behind slightly. And uh, currently, we're trying to strengthen this business. Now, for the small size uh, inverters. Now, this is a subject, uh, this is a, um, a product of Hitachi Industrial Equipment System. So, we're trying to grow this business. And uh, Ms. Aoki, uh, the president of that company, can elaborate further, please. Um, my name is Aoki of the Hitachi Industrial Equipment Systems in China. Uh, there are local manufacturers. Uh, the issue has been mentioned. Regarding the so-called low-end products, uh, Chinese manufacturers are becoming stronger. That is true. And Yaskawa are, is struggling because of this. But uh, we are focused on the middle range and to the higher range. That is our focus uh, in this range. Even though Chinese uh, competitors are becoming stronger, uh, we are producing in China, and uh, we are able to produce at a uh, similar cost. And uh, in this range, uh, we are focused in terms of competition. Uh, significant volume, uh, low price are not the areas, are not the area that we're, uh, is, a pr is an area that we're not interested in. Uh, question, uh, for high voltage and low voltage, uh, um, how are you going to sell this? Uh, is it through the distributors? Uh, Fuji Electric uh, for high voltage, uh, uh, Shanghai Electric uh, uh, partnership has been uh, established. What is your uh, strategy in terms of partnership? Answer, uh, whether it's volume, it will have uh, indirect uh, sales. For uh, major uh, customers, uh, when it's on a bilateral basis, it uh, will be direct. Question, no? no? will be contemplated answer no not for the time being but uh, i will not deny uh, the possibility going forward now when it's large scale for um, power systems with toho group uh, we have already collaboration and we are manufacturing with them on the other hand with lokshow 
uh, we have uh, formed a partnership uh, for the peripheral area. Uh, we are already producing. And uh, in fact, uh, this uh, system has been introduced in China. A question for power electronics. Uh, uh, you're behind in uh, terms of devices, but we should not be concerned. In answer, that's correct. In terms of devices, uh, um, we will consider uh, how we are going to be focused on this area, inclusive of uh, development trends, uh, technological trends going forward. Any other questions? I see a hand in the back, in the middle. Question. Uh, my first question is as follows. Uh, in relation to the power systems uh, a company, and uh, when it comes to transmission or smart meters uh, business, uh, uh, will they uh, change uh, uh, as you collaborate with MHI? Well, uh, integration with MHI, that is uh, restricted uh, to thermal a power generation business. And the power generator from that business, how is that going to be handled? There's no mention of that. And uh, that will be handled uh, conventionally uh, through Hitachi's uh, technology, understood. And my second question, pages 9 and 10 in the slide pack. Between fiscal year 13 and 14, uh, there's a description. Uh, between fiscal year 12 and 13, loss uh, control, reduction in uh, revenue, although there was a positive from SCP. So between years uh, 12 to 13, uh, what would it look like if you had to draw a similar picture? So 20 billion yen of uh, 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 profit uh, uh, becoming 10.7 billion in FI13, uh, that's uh, uh, because of uh, operating loss from EPC. The bulk of that is due to operating loss from EPC. Question. Revenue is growing, and uh, I'm sure there was positive impact from STP. So the STP and uh, revenue growth, uh, they were there. Between fiscal years uh, 13 to uh, 15 or 14, there will be no loss of control, and uh, that negative will be eliminated. Uh, with that, uh, uh, I think uh, the number should be higher, so could you please explain the numbers? We expect 16 billion uh, to be generated, and that's because uh, impairment is no longer are going to be there, but that's not the only factor. Because of uh, no impairment, uh, we are able to make investment, and investment uh, is also considered in this number. Well, I'm sorry, I'm not smart enough to understand what you've just said. Most probably between uh, fiscal years uh, 12 uh, to 13, uh, there was an uh, increase in revenue of 30 billion. With that uh, revenue increase, well, it was big enough, and uh, through STP, uh, there was a 5 to 10 billion yen effect, and so with the revenue increase in STP, there must have been 20 billion yen uh, net, and so cost overrun, uh, with that eliminated, uh, the number should be higher. So conversely put, uh, if we had to have a similar chart for years uh, 12 and 13, uh, I think uh, the number should be higher. So between 13 and 15, uh, other than cost uh, overrun, uh, are you increasing development cost or uh, working on cost? Uh, is that happening? Well, of course, as I said, uh, we are planning investment, and uh, we are to exceed 1 trillion yen in 2015. Uh, that's uh, the short-term uh, target, and uh, initiatives for that are included in this uh, between years uh, 12 and 13. Well, uh, revenue uh, is suppressed, uh, apparently, but uh, that's because of uh, a substantial reduction in a sales price as a result of competition. Uh, the 
selling prices uh, went down considerably. We tried uh, to compensate for that uh, with uh, the SCP. As a result, uh, you see the number that uh, you're seeing right now. Understood. Page seven. Looking at this competitive environment, Company C, uh, their revenue is growing, but uh, profitability is not good. So uh, they are sacrificing profit for the sake of growth. Uh, companies uh, A and D, they are growing and retaining profitability. That's what uh, they seem to be. And uh, your component uh, business, uh, service business, uh, so other companies, uh, A, B, and C, are they strong in component or service? In which uh, area are they uh, trying to compete with you? What are the differences? Companies uh, A, B, C, and D. Well, we are, uh, it's very difficult uh, to uh, define what their infrastructure business is. So we're trying to look at uh, uh, similar segments. Uh, and uh, generally speaking, uh, company B is strong in components. That's our awareness. So that is the characteristic that we can say about company B. Other companies are similar to Hitachi? Yes. My last uh, question. So water, industrial plant, uh, uh, power, and components, those are the future areas. And uh, in 2015, uh, the operating uh, ratio uh, for power, water, and so forth is 6% 6 and currently is uh, the ratio the same or are you going to grow to 6% and even with differences with uh, competition with uh, project management and SCP are you quite confident that you will be able to achieve 6% uh, the targeted uh, operating uh, ratio is all 6% uh, why the same could you explain well I can't give you all the detailed uh, numbers but uh, urban power related uh, business profitability is going to go slightly up but compared to now with respect to the water business overseas water projects are not performing very well at the moment by 2015 uh, we would uh, like uh, to improve uh, so that uh, the operating uh, margin can improve to six percent an industrial related business in 2013, we did make a major impairment, but uh, information control and plant technology, uh, the two are combined uh, so that we can offer it to clients. And through that, we would uh, uh, like to achieve uh, this ratio. Thank you. Uh, with this, we would like to bring uh, this uh, session to a close. Thank you.